Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 29th of November. Hope you and your family are having a great Thanksgiving weekend. The weather nice and quiet with a slow warm up in coming days. What about the chance of rain early next week? Or will there be some here? Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture. Water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. The upper air pattern beginning to relax a little bit. Got an upper low that's located west of Los Angeles, still troughing over the northeast. And it's still pretty cold down here. We're starting off the day around 20. And some of the colder pockets, Decatur sitting at 20. It's 21 for Gadsden and Fort Payne. Our sky watcher up at Black Creek, northeast of Gadsden, has 17 degrees at daybreak. Birmingham at 26. But we'll expect to be in the low to mid-50s today. Still below average, but... We're still moving in the right direction. Around the nation, temperatures beginning to moderate ever so slowly, but it's still pretty cold for November. Look at that. Very quiet. That's good to see on this Thanksgiving holiday. No severe weather, heavy rain, snow events, just a very, very quiet, benign weather. And look at this. The uh, WPC guys have no rain here for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning of next week. I guess you might debate Monday. Uh, whether there could be a little rain here, but obviously one way or the other, it's not going to be a lot if it happens at all. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. And uh, you can see the upper low that's uh, not too far from Los Angeles. But basically a zonal flow across uh, much of the eastern U.S. And down below that, the day will be sunny and the day should be a little warmer. Uh, after this cold start, we'll expect to be above 50 today. The... NAM is printing 55. That's still below average. The high average high today is 60. Great weather for the high school playoff games tonight. Clear and cold. Temperatures will fall through the 40s for those ball games. This is tomorrow. We start the day around freezing. Low 30s, not as cold as recent mornings. And we'll warm into the mid to upper 50s. A great day for the Iron Bowl. By golly, I think we started that dry forecast, what, about 10 days ago. And it's verified very nicely. Great day for the game. Mid-50s at kickoff, low 50s for the fourth quarter with a light southeast wind. This is Sunday. We'll be in the upper 50s. That'll feel like a heat wave. Let's go to Monday of next week. You can see energy coming through here, but the GFS continues to insist that it's too dry for any big rain. It kind of prints out a sprinkle or two, and that's about it. The European remains a little more aggressive, and again, you know, not much, barely enough to measure. So for Monday, we'll mention cloudy periods and just an outside chance of a little light rain, and that's about it. Obviously, it's not going to be a big deal. This is Tuesday. Big low develops in the Atlantic just offshore in response to that wave, but we are dry, and hey, there's no cold air involved in this thing. In fact, uh, Tuesday, we should be in the low to middle 60s. Finally, a day with temperatures at or just a little above average. Wednesday of next week, same thing. We're dry and comfortable with 60s. And this is Thursday, a week from today. Uh, the GFS is showing upper 60s. Goodness, that'll feel good. A, a lee low on the uh, east side of the Colorado Rockies beginning to develop. And um, Let's say Thursday's a week from today. No, this is a week from today. This is Friday of next week. I'm, these holiday weekends, I never know what day it is. This is Friday, December 6th, the week from today. Pretty good trough over the middle of the nation. A deep low over Wisconsin with a trailing band of showers and maybe some thunder. Uh, at the end of next week, we're still dry. It gets kind of windy and mild. But, you know, with in fact, we might touch 70 if this is right. But with the dynamic support and the surface low so far north, don't think we'll have any severe weather. This is the next day, Saturday December 7th, the surface low is up there at James Bay in Canada with a weakening band of showers and a new surge of cold air flooding much of the country with a 1044 millibar high over uh, Montana and Wyoming. Maybe we'll catch a little bit of that, but really the GFS wants to hang that front up around here and kind of keep the weather unsettled for a few days. This is Monday the 9th, and it's still showing some rain in here and uh, maybe a shallow layer of cold air, but I don't think it would be cold enough for any icing issues if this is right, just uh, rain. 
We'll check the end of the forecast, mid-month, mid-December. Uh, the amplitude not extremely high, kind of a strong west to northwest flow aloft, and if that's right, maybe a shower too. It would be seasonally cool. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here, my next video will be by Monday morning at 7, and by then we'll go back on the two-a-day schedule. We're on the holiday schedule today, which is one video, and uh, Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.